which leads me into this. And this is a, a very interesting subject, I think, and a very important subject to talk on, and I appreciate you, uh, your candidness in, in dealing with this. Jason, you, you come out of the foster care system. Yeah. Folks, I want you to know something, and you go look at his stealth rating. But before you look at it, not just because of what he's accomplished on, on the football field, this, this young man is a 3.8 student, I believe, uh, over 1,100 on his SAT boards. Um, and and it, normally you may not equate that to somebody who's gone through some real life struggles. Um, and, and not that you have to get into it all, um, but I do want people to know what you've accomplished under the circumstances. And you still in the foster care system, I understand. Jason, talk to our folks, talk to people about that, what the, what the struggles were like and how, you, how you're working through all of that. Okay, how do you have this resolve? Well, I really, when I think about it, you know, a lot of people told me, you know, growing up, before I lived with my cousin, uh, Sarah, who I call my mom now, you know, growing up, I never had a mother, never had a really stable father in my life. Um, I remember two, three years ago, my uncle would tell me, you're going to end up just like your father. You're not going to do anything with your life. You're going to be homeless. You're not going to do anything. I took that to heart. So I just remember promising myself that as long as I'm in high school, I will get above at least a 3.5 GPA, no matter what happens. Um, just those words that you're not going to make it, that motivates me. I like to prove people wrong. People who say, you can't do this, you can't do that. You're going to be like so-and-so. To me, past people don't determine who you'll be in the future. Past actions don't determine who you'll be in the future. So to me, just a lot of things growing up just kind of motivated me to do better in life. Well, I, I don't know that anything else needs to be said. Um, powerful, powerful statement from a young man who I've really come to get to know. I'm, I'm enjoying the time, a little bit of time that we spend together, but I learn a lot in a little bit of time, Jason. Powerful words, powerful situation for anybody in any situation out there, good, bad, or ugly. His words are meaningful. Not are they just words, but the actions follow the words, which is the most important thing you could be doing. Um, I'm proud to be sitting here with you. HSPN West is very, very, very fortunate to be able to, to sit and spend time with you and, and cover your progress. And we're looking forward to more times where you're going to prove. Jason Wilkinson, you're going to prove a lot of people wrong. You already have, and I think you're just getting started. Okay? Thank you for your time. HSPN West with Jason Wilkinson as they prepare for a big game. Rivalry game next Friday versus Santa Ana High School. Uh, both are vying for the league championship. We're going to see how it all plays out. The beauty of this is they all get to, to figure it out on the field. And um, we'll certainly bring you the results of that game um, and, and wish this young man the best as he goes forward. Um, he's got a heck of a future ahead of him. And I sure hope that those of you, particularly at the college level, pay attention to this young man. Don't miss out on him and don't count him out, obviously. David Hill with HSPN West on the campus of Orange High School.